Welcome back to News 5. This morning, Mobile Police Chief James Barber plans to meet with various organizations in the city about this city's rise in violence. Mobile has recorded 32 homicides this year, nine more than all of last year. In the month of October alone, nine people have been murdered. Mobile's Police Chief James Barber sat down with News 5's Roseanne Haven to talk about the jump in violent crime. <laughs> Gunshots and screams at a block party. Five people are shot. No one dead at this scene. But already this year, Mobile has recorded 32 homicides. Finding people shot to death in various parts of the city is happening far too often. So far, the city has surpassed the number of homicides compared to last year by nine. The mission of the police department is to make Mobile the safest city in America. But with so many murders and so much gun violence recently, how safe should Mobilians feel right now? Mobile is a very safe city when you look at comparing it to other cities the size of Mobile. Uh, we still have a long ways to go, I do believe. Chief James Barber assures me most of the violence is not random. The victims knew their assailants. Um, they range from domestic related homicides to acquaintances getting into arguments uh, to the systemic violence we see surrounding the drug trade as well. There's a spike in juvenile crime. Chief Barber says today's kids are too quick to pull out guns to settle disputes that would once end in fist fights. This year alone, Mobile has 11 juvenile homicide victims, compared to only one in the year 2000. The chief says youngsters have easy access to guns, a problem police cannot solve alone. The community has to be proactive. We're finding that is that a lot of the guns are being obtained by pulling on unlocked car doors. Uh, and because we live in a gun culture in the South, you don't have to go through very many cars before you'll find a handgun. And parents need to keep up with what their kids are doing. What's in their kids' book bag, what's in their rooms, and what they're putting on social media, because you don't have to go very far on Facebook before you see the brandishing of these guns very proudly, uh, apparently without the fear of consequences for possessing. For News 5 This Morning, I'm Roseanne Haven.